Hi, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. It's time for an update for my Roses Are Red Project Pan. So, as you may or may not know, this is a project created by me, and I had a little help from Rachel Winters. She's the one who helped me, like, who, who suggested that it was like a, a use project instead of like a pan project. So thank you, Rachel. Took a lot of pressure off of the whole project and it enabled more people to be able to join in. So that is awesome. So I mentioned Rachel, so it's also going to be uh, RD Lover Bunny, my friend Rania. Uh, and then there is my friend Alexi. Check her out. Uh, Y'all probably know her. <laughs> Who else? Oh, uh, Instagram. We have some people on Instagram, so I will leave the hashtag here. I think they're just using, oh yeah, it's hashtag roses are red PP for Project Pan. So we've got Kiara and we have Valerie who are joining us on that forum. And also somebody else joined in. We've got Sarah Safran, who I love. So it's pretty much just a bunch of my favorite people here on YouTube. So yay. <laughs> it's the love project. It works out. Anyway, I have my notebook here with my tallies for how many times I've used these. So let me just turn to that page real quick. There it is. And we'll go through it. So this is what I have. Probably can't see it, but it's just my list of the products with all the tallies. Okay, let's get on with it then, shall we? So the first thing was this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. It is not an illuminator for me. It is a bronzer. It is far too dark to be a highlighter for me. Um, so I have used this four times. Nope. I take it back. I've used this five times because I used it today. Um, yeah, I clearly need to use this nine more times before the next update. Um, it's not my favorite thing, but like, I don't hate it. I, I quite enjoy it when I do remember to use it. <laughs> it's just a little extra step, you know. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I'm glad to be using it, uh, because I would like to finish it. So, I might keep using this when the project is over. But anyway, I need to use this nine more times. Uh, before February 14th and that is like a product that never seems to end because that's been in multiple projects as you can probably see there's like lines down here so <laughs> there's that all right next was the NARS orgasm multi stick and this was a multi-use product I have used this a lot so you can see you can see that I've really gotten in there. Um, it's gone down quite a bit, like a quarter of an, like maybe an eighth of an inch more like. But anyway, I have used this nine times. So I need to use it five more times before the uh, February 14th, before Valentine's Day. So I like it. I have the orgasm uh, blush in powder form because this is the cream form of the orgasm blush and it's multi-stick, but you know. Um, I don't like the blush in the powder form. It doesn't show up on me. I cannot build it up enough, but this actually does show up and I do really enjoy this and I love it on a no makeup day. Well, like a low makeup day. Anyway, <laughs> next we have the Urban Decay Double Team um, Mascara and this is in uh, gold mine and dime. So it's a silver and a gold metallic mascara. I have only used this four times and I don't know why. Uh, it's again, it's pretty extra. Uh, so, but it's Christmas almost. So Christmas, New Year's, I'll definitely be getting some more use out of this. Uh, I need to do that. So four times, 10 more before the update or before the finale rather. Okay. Here we have the Tarte Lip Sculpture. Um, it's a lipstick and gloss and it is in the shade Sangria. So I have been using this and I count whichever side I use as one. And this one I have used eight times. So I need to use this six more times before the finale. And that shouldn't be a problem. I 
do enjoy it. I have used it with another product that we'll get to. It's a lip liner, so I have liked it with that. So there's that. Let's see. Ah, this guy right here. I have used the Giorgio Armani C Fiori. Uh, I've used this 14 times. I mean, I've used it more than 14 times, but I have used this the entire amount that I was supposed to have met my goal on this. So that's why it's living back here. Um, I'm trying something else right now, but I love this. This is so delicious. I love florals. Um, when people say something smells like old ladies, I'm like, yes, please. I'm sorry, but I love a good floral and this is beautiful. So that's one rolled out. Got one done. <laughs> Yay me. It was a fragrance. Uh, okay. Next was this NYX. Oh, that was something that you can, like a fragrance because it was something you can't see or touch. So. This is the NYX uh, HD Blush in Taupe, and this was for something like an old love. Oddly enough, I've only used this five times, so I need to use it nine more times. And that should be so simple because I actually quite like this product, and um, it's an old love. So it's not going anywhere, but I will use it, what is it, nine more times? Nine more times. Okay. Next is this Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder. It's like, actually don't have much left of this and that makes me a little sad, <laughs> but it is what it is. I might just try something else that I have instead. Um, and if that doesn't work, I will repurchase. But this, unbelievably, I've only used this four times. So that shows you how much I've worn like a full face because I wear this every time. Oh, you know what? I just remembered why. I've only used it four times because of the Christmas project pan that I'm doing, Nightmare Before Christmas, and I have a powder in that one. Oh my God, that's why. I don't like that one as much under my eyes though. So I kind of stopped using it that way. <laughs> but anyways, um, yes, I love this. I need to use I need to use it 10 more times and that should be so easy. Next is the P. Louise base and this was for something that makes you feel confident and that is because I will be confident that my eyeshadow will last all day and not crease. So that's why I chose this one um, and I quite like it. I haven't used a ton. I just rolled it in last time and like I say, I, it's been a rough month. So uh, let's see. So I've used this three times. Uh, yeah, I need to do better, but I do like it. And I do, uh, I have used it more than three times. Just I've only used it three times in the project and it's what is on my eyes today. How are we doing? I don't see any creasing, which I do get creasing sometimes no matter what, but I think that's working. So next is the Smashbox Primer Water. This was for, oh, this is the um, Smashbox The Hood Witch Photo Finish Love Ritual Primer Water, Jasmine and Rose. I have used this eight times, so I only need to use it six more times before the finale, and I quite like it. Uh, I'm not sure that it makes my makeup last longer, but I'm not sure that any primer does. I kind of want to go into like a little primer off, you know, like a, um, battle of the primers or whatever and see like if they even make my makeup last longer or not because I generally don't have that problem so I'm not sure if I believe in them entirely but I do enjoy this um I use it to set uh the powders and whatnot and I use it before just because you can and um I used it to wet my eyeshadows foil my eyeshadows too so it's cool um the smell is not overwhelming or anything. It's very subtle, which I kind of like. So anyways, I will be able to use that no problem. And we're down to the last number 10 over here, the last item. So we have the Lime Crime. I don't even remember what this was for. 
I don't, but it'll be linked down below. But this is the Lime Crime Velveteens Lip Liner in the shade Angel. I did wear this today. I do quite like this. It's a miracle that I remember to use lip liner at all because I generally do not. So I have used this five times, so I will have to use it nine more times. Um, that should be easy, really. I do like it actually a lot, so it's a really great color. It's like a perfect nude color. So it goes with a lot of my things, and this is like my one of my favorite nude lipsticks, Abstract from Urban Decay, and it goes with that, so we're good. I think it does. Yeah, it works. I will continue to use it. And I have also found that that lip liner really helps this to stay in place. So there's a better color lip liner I have for that, but I've used those together and it did work. Okay, so we have four more products to choose. Let me get out my list of quotes and I will tell you what I have. So the next quote is, if I had a flower for every time I thought of you, I could walk through my garden forever. Alfred Lord Tennyson. So that one was uh, a, pro a floral product, be it packaging, name, or embossing. So we have the Smashbox Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter in Gilded Rose. And as you can see, the packaging is floral. The name is Gilded Rose, so that fits. And I love it. Can you see it from here? Anyway, yeah. I really want to get into this. I kind of avoid things that are pretty, and I really just want to use my things. But I don't know if you can see that, but it's, oh yeah, there you go. It's quite beautiful. I didn't think it would work on me, but it does. So this I will be using, and I'm very excited to be using this because it's just so pretty that, um, why is it just sitting in my stash, you know, not getting loved? So I am looking forward to loving this and getting some use out of it, and I'm sorry for the glare, but it's just, it's pretty. <laughs> All right, what's next? Age does not protect you from love but love, to some extent, protects you from age. Anais Nin, I think is how you say that. Probably not. But anyway, <laughs> a skincare product is what I chose for that. So what I chose for that product is this Shiseido. It is the Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector. It's a SPF 42. Um, I really love this, but I have a lot of sunscreens and I need to just use this one until it's gone because it's my oldest one and it's not gonna work after a certain point so I need to use this up so I'm gonna use this 14 times and I chose this because it will protect as the quote says so there's that let's pick the next one okay love consists of this two solitudes that meet protect and greet each other Reiner Maria Rilke, a marbled product or products that you mix. So for that one, I actually chose my cover effects. Uh, this is the monochromatic blush duo in matte and shimmer. And it looks like this. Oh, this one is honey. Warm honey, that's what it's called. But anyway, uh, that's what that looks like. And I freaking love this formula so much, but I mix these, so I will show you. It's so good, oh my God, so good. So yeah, I go in there with the one and then I mix it with this one over top with the shimmer, cause it looks so good. It's like a little topper. Just gives it like a little sheen quite like that. This is a newer item in my collection and I am very much looking forward to using that as well. So that's exciting. And we are on to the last product. Let me tell you what it is. So the last quote is, 
Love makes your soul crawl out from its hiding place. And that is Zora Neale Hurston. So that is something bold. And for that, I picked my Stila. Uh, this is the uh, Dollish, but this is a glitter and glow. And I love it. And I think what's more bold than glitter? So I will swatch this for you, like in between the other two swatches, I guess. I love this so much, but I've only used it a couple of times, but let me see. There it is. It is like a duochrome glitter. It has like a gold peach shift to it. Are we sensing a theme here? I could have worn this today. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm choosing. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that you can see that. It's so stinking pretty. So I just have to use this 14 times. And that should be so easy because these are like so easy to just do a quick look with. Actually, a lot of the time with these like um, liquid glitter type eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, I will take like the NYX and go in the crease uh, for like a shadow because um, it's just like a subtle taupe color. I'll blend that out in the crease and then I will put this all over the lid and kind of pat it in. So that should make this easier. <laughs> but anyway, that's everything. So I have 13 items to use up before, well not use up, thank God. Thank God Rachel came up with that idea because uh, to use 14 times because there's no way I would use up all these. Anyway, so that's going to be all of my products. Um, it's still not too late if you guys want to join. I saw somebody say they wanted to um, before and it's open. Like, go for it. You only have to use them 14 times. Um, you can do it. It's more of a challenge. Closer you get, but, you know, why not? Anyway, uh, yeah, that's going to be everything. Let me know down below what you think. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, drop some comments because I love talking to you guys. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, already and you would like to, I would appreciate that. And if you have, thanks for being here again. So that's going to be everything and I will see y'all later. Bye.